I've been asking a bunch of your teammates about just what it means being a Mississippi kid this weekend for you growing up kind of pretty close to there. Just what does it mean to you getting ready to play in Hattiesburg, shout the College World Series? Yeah, it uh, means a lot. You know, we're excited to go play down in Mississippi. And, you know, being where I'm from, I'll have a lot of people there that I know. So it'll be fun, good atmosphere. Uh, we're going to get after it. Uh, I know they're not afraid, and we're not afraid. We're just going to get after it this weekend. It's going to be a lot of fun this weekend. I'm ready to see it happen. What have you seen from the way Mallet's slider from, from your vantage point has gotten so much better over the course of the season? Yeah, no, he's definitely developed his slider and his other pitches a lot. You know, he's become, you know, a lethal weapon for us out of the pen. And, you know, I hope he carries it and continues it, and we look forward to using him. I mean, since another guy that's really developed late, just He's another guy with that slider. What's Mason doing well that's working for you guys? Uh, the pound in the strike zone. You know, he's going after hitters, not giving up freebies. Uh, you know, he's going right after him, attacking him first pitch. And I think that's, you know, really key coming out of the pen. He's done that well. And I think that's why he's had success. Have you ever seen Hunter Elliott get rattled? It seems like nothing ever really faces that guy. Yeah, uh, no, he's handled it well. You know, he's handled it, you know, as a guy not seeming like a freshman. And I think that's good for him. And it's good for us, that, you know, the way he carries himself. and. You know, he's definitely going to have a lot to handle this weekend, so we look forward to that, too. Hey, several of these guys, other guys, Hunter and Mason, have talked about having to learn to pitch the slider. Guys are learning to pitch like that. Can you tell it as a catcher? Do you encourage them in any way, help them? What's that process? Like? Yeah, no, it's a long process, and uh, you can tell things just by the way they hold it and the way the ball's spinning, the way, you know, the action of the pitches and everything, the bite it has, how late it moves. You know, they'll ask me all the time after they throw it and I'll give them, you know, what I saw and then they'll correct it. And, then, you know, it's gotten really a lot better. All, everyone's, you know, Gaddis started throwing a slider. Elliot started throwing a slider. A bunch of people, you know, started throwing sliders this year and I think it's done really well. Was it new for Gaddis? I mean, he's been fit for a while. Yeah, I think it was new to Gaddis. You know, he's always been, you know, a big change-up curveball guy, and we have the slider, uh, and it's done good against the thin hitters, and we really like it. Is, is Washburn the only curveball left, like from a primary, secondary thing? Man, uh, <laughs> honestly, I don't know. Uh, you know, he's even, you know, done his own thing with his pitches, and you know, everyone has what they have, and you know, I'm just back there catching it and just comfortable <laughs> whatever they're throwing. It makes me comfortable. So, you spent a lot of time around Peyton. When did he become a power hitter? Man. Uh, I still don't think he is, though. Um, no, I'm playing, but, uh, you know, Pace is just a ball player. You know, he plays hard, plays the game that's supposed to be played, and, you know, he gets rewarded for it, and, you know, he should. I'm trying to get my teammate who's day-to-day -day with them. How did you see him kind of handle? Obviously, he didn't start the season that well. This past month, he's kind of pounded. Yeah, no, me and him have laughed about it a bunch of times because uh, me and him have kind of been up and down together, you know, throughout the season. and. Yeah, you know, we kind of were like the eight and nine hitters for a while, and so we were just always saying, like, you know, we're gonna hold it down here and, you know, have this on lockdown. And you know, it was jokes, but no, he's he's hitting really well. You know, I'm happy for him, and you know, I'm hitting right in front of him right now, and just being on base this weekend in front of him, and you know, driving me in. It was it was a lot of fun. It was easy on my part. Going back to the Mississippi storyline, obviously, you know, once again, being from Mississippi and all that, and seeing the success, you know, over the years at Ole Miss, and some of us, and even Mississippi State, you know, this years. I mean, what in your mind do you think makes college baseball so unique just in this state just compared to, you know, everywhere else? I would honestly say the fans. You know, the fan base is just more bought in. You know, it kind of seems like a life or death scenario for the fans whenever they're cheering for their team. Um, I think that's what makes it electric and that's what makes you more bought into it. But that's just me. Going back to the slider, I think it's something that a lot of guys have picked up. What is 